Ready, you guys ready for some glamour? Some fabulous, glamorous? Oh, we love it. It's up, beautiful people. It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. And today, surprise, special Hi. guest star. It's Shannon. <laughs> Remember her? Welcome back. <laughs> so we are at Shannon's apartment again because we are going to shulify my entire apartment. Isn't that cute? <laughs> my mom came up with that. Yeah. Shout out to your mom. <laughs> hi, moms. If you're watching, hi, moms. We love you. They are. Moms are amazing. All the moms out there, hi, shout out. Okay. And who's it? You guys saw us redo her kitchen last week, and in the spirit of redoing the whole place, next we're moving on to the bathroom. DIY projects are super fun, super easy, and super fabulous. So we're going to redo Shannon's bathroom and see uh, what kind of fabulosities we can come up with. Woo! So without further ado, here we go. DIY bathroom makeover, broke bitch style. Of course. That was weird, but whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, so here's our Bob the Builder Barbie look today. We have this orange fabulousness that you guys just saw in my um, Kylie Jenner looks for less lookbook. So if you want to watch that, you can check that out here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, anyways, are you ready to see the before bathroom? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Alrighty, so here you go. You guys can see the bathroom before. It is, um... Uh, yeah, just your kind of generic studio bathroom here. You can see it has a lot of sus light fixtures. This light bulb is out. We got some stains on the wall here. The granite is dirty and this rug is kind of dirty and so is everything, honestly. <laughs> so we are going to give it the full once over and make it fabulous. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can come up with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> here we go. The actual DIY. <laughs> okay, so first things first. Obviously, the cabinets are, um, needless to say, a disaster. So we are going to paint them. So we got our painting outfits on and um, our paint from the kitchen, actually, which you can see we kept really good care of. And we are going to get to painting. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and just pull the drawers out to make the process a little easier and also remove the knobs on the drawers. And then we're just gonna literally go ahead and you can just dip the paintbrush right into the paint and start your painting. It's super easy, you just kinda roll it up and down until the whole thing is covered. Go ahead, do a few layers until it's extra pearly, fabulously white. I got these crystal knobs off Amazon, so we're gonna go ahead and twist those in to replace the old ones, so now they look fabuloso and just a little bit more glam. Next up, I went ahead and bought this shelf. So you can see we're gonna go ahead and put that right above the toilet. So we busted out the drill. Watch out. And installed that easy peasy one, two lemon squeezy. Okay, so now we're going to do the countertops because the countertops are very important for any bathroom. You can see these are, you know, just stained with makeup and not looking that fabulous. So we're gonna make them beautiful. It looks like I'm not wearing pants. Cause I'm not. <laughs> okay, so this is the key to anything success. This is marble contact paper. So usually I only use the normal marble, but I thought it'd be fun to do this like rose quartzy marble thing. Like, oh my God, it's look at that. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, it's gonna be so good. What's cool about this is you can see one side of it is sticky. So it sticks to your finger like that and will stick right onto there. So for this, all you have to do is literally go ahead and lay it onto the area that you want to do and go ahead and peel the paper off of the back so the sticky side is facing down. You can use your arm or whatever else you want and you can just literally stick it right onto the counter. This is kind of hard to explain. If you want to see a more in-depth tutorial, you can watch my marble countertops video. But for now, basically all you got to do is take scissors or a box cutter and you can kind of just press along the edge where the sink is and it will go ahead and cut it through perfectly so you can just peel off the center area and it will be perfectly molded. Pressing that on there, go ahead and get the corners, get the sides. For the corner areas, I like to go ahead and kind of wrap it like a present so you can see here like so, just so it looks extra even. Go ahead and layer it on again for the top to just kind of press it down and make it all nice and symmetrical. By the way, people always ask if this is removable. Absolutely, 100%, literally all you gotta do is peel it right off and it will come right back off. Apartment friendly, we love that. Oh my God, and you can see it looks so much better already. Ah, this looks so good. Wow, not to toot my own horn, but toot, toot, toot. Oh, the top of the ceiling is ugly, so we're gonna make it fabulous with <gasps> crystals. 
So you can see this is literally purely just for aesthetics. All it is is a little acrylic chandelier. There's no actual lighting fixtures needed. It is purely for the fun of the glitz and the glam. So we're gonna take this little twisty ceiling hook and we're just gonna hang it right on there. So we're just gonna stand up here like a psychopath. Usually I would say safety first kids, but today aesthetics first. You can just screw that into the ceiling like that. Flip that sucker right on there. <gasps> Ooh! Do you love it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come down now. Oh, very nice. Oh my god, do you see it up there? It's gonna be so good. We took a little quick field trip to Ross in the middle of our activities because we realized I kind of forgot to buy some stuff. So we are going to pick up a couple more things that we need. We got some shower curtains, some little wall decor, and some towels and all sorts of other fun nonsense. So we're gonna bring that home and install that next. So you can see these are the little wall decor thingies that we bought, super cute and such a steal at like 14 bucks. So we're just gonna go ahead and hang those right on the wall like so. All you have to do is hang a nail and drop that right on there. So that adds a little bit of dimension to the wall. Popped up a shower tension rod, super easy, and then hung some nice curtains on it. These are beautiful, so it adds a little bit of pink. You will see what we're going to do with that later. Pulled them back on the sides, ta-da, very princessy. Okay, so one of my original best DIYs ever, oh, there's some of teeth. Okay, so one of my best DIYs ever was my vanity mirror, so we're going to redo that in here. Okay, so what you need for this project is puck lights. You can get these, I bought these on Amazon. Basically, they're just little lights that when you press them, they turn on. And on the back, they come with little sticky pieces of paper that you can just plop right on to any surface. Like you can see, we're just gonna stick it right on. Boop, boop, nailed it. And it really is just that easy. <laughs> so go ahead, put them all along the edges of the mirror here. You can see I went ahead and did them all on the sides. You can use the remote control to set them on perfectly. And look at this, so freaking cool, wow some pink towels to match everything else so we can hang that I'm oh, gotta take the tag off there but you can get the picture got these cute little containers on Amazon these are actually I think pencil holders but I don't care we're gonna go ahead and put some faux flowers in them to kind of pull the theme all together here so literally all you have to do is plop those in there and ba -doom, custom flower arrangements those on the shelf hang a nice little extra heart mirror above the shelf too <laughs> safety first kids <laughs> Eventually, after seven billion long hours of hard, hard work, we're exhausted, we're tired, and I'm actually totally kidding. I'm just being dramatic, because I'm dramatic, but. I, really like to do that. I know, right? <laughs> Are you ready to see? Drum roll, please! The finished bathroom. 7,000 hours later. No, I'm actually kidding. It's <laughs> no, it actually that really quick. Yeah, it was. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here is the before, again, just so you guys can see it. Dun, 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 dreary. And now. Dun, dun. Dun, da, da. Ah, it looks so good! It came out so freaking good. Oh my god, you can see the finished bathroom. I'm sorry, we have to do this again. It's just too good. <gasps> oh, it's amazing! So you can see the countertops came out absolutely amazing. Oh my god, how nice is that? Like, look at this vanity area. Y'all. For the sink area, we went ahead and redid all of her makeup in these little acrylic containers. Got some really nice little, uh, what is this? Oh, a soap dispenser. <laughs> we got the shelves, we got these little guys. Nice little heart mirror for fun. I just can't wait to take selfies because it's <laughs> cute now. <laughs> like, look. Oh, oh, is it cute? Yeah. Oh my god, look at us working it. Mm, mm, mm. This outfit sucks, but. Presenting the chandelier at the top, looking fabulous. Oh my god! <laughs> Our little yours on the prices right. <laughs> We've got the little sh. Well, this is not a chandelier. We have the little pinned back shower curtains to kind of hide the background there. Super cute. Again, we have Vanna White. Please continue showing us the nice little designs right here. All pink to bring it all together. Looks great. <laughs> Went ahead and added some new rugs because you know to add a little bit of flair. The repainted cabinet looking so good the little crystals look so nice so much fresh so much fun and you can see it looks so cute the sound of luxury all in all I would say we freaking nailed it wow really outdid ourselves this time and there you have it you guys that was our DIY bathroom makeover oh my god it looks so do you it's love it? so much better than I could even imagine. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Anyways, thank you guys so 
much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, whatever else you want to do for this video. All my socials are at Amber Scholl. You can check Shannon out too below. I will link her. And um, we're going to take some selfies in here. So, till next time, we love you. Love you. Mwah. XO. I'm going to, well, maybe I actually won't put on pants. Whatever. <laughs>